17 points per game. A win for Gonzaga a couple of days ago against sixth-ranked Louisville. The setback against Marquette have them here in the third place game. Meanwhile, Tennessee looking for that same magic in that win a couple of days ago against Rutgers before the loss yesterday to UCLA. Well, there is Jordan Horston right on cue, always active around the basket to clean up Rakia Jackson's miss. And Rakia Jackson says, I'll take that. Intensity on the defensive end. That's what Kelly Harper is looking for to establish for the Lady Balls. So here is the Gonzaga starting five for Lisa Fortier. In addition to each of you, see her there at number 15 in the Navy. Kaylin Trong, she is the stud point guard, the table setter for this team. The starting lineup brought to you by Atlantis Paradise Island. Oh, with the spin off the window. Yeah, Atem has really an old school type game about her. Terrific footwork. She's got good English off the glass. And she is finding ways to be productive in the paint. Kayla Trong almost just went over the scorer's table a moment ago. Here's Tennessee starting by. This is what Kelly Harper counters with. This unit brought to you by Atlantis Paradise. Right away, early possessions for Tennessee. It's been Rakia Jackson and Jordan Horston. They have to establish themselves first, and then the rest of the offense will flow. Well, those two combined for 30 a game this year to start the year. Eliza Hollingsworth had a pretty decent semifinal against Marquette. Uses the righty scoop shot to tie things up. You know, most people think that they've got to make outside shots. The way that Marquette did. They're going right in the paint against the Lady Balls. And right there in the middle for Tennessee is Tamari Key, the six foot six senior, a vicious shot blocker. Three is down. Starting out in this consolation game than did in the finals. Yeah. Making buckets. They are going shot for shot in the early goings. Jackson got it. She is the number one transfer in this season's class. The versatility of what she brings. She has a stretch four. She can move to the three. She's got range and then she has terrific footwork inside. And Michaela Williams responds. <laughs> Let's go. I think it was 10-9 after one quarter in our championship game. He is going to the free throw. She's won everywhere. She's taken several teams to the NCAA tournament to the house last week. UCLA just entered the top 25. Preparing for the SEC, why not make the non-conference schedule challenge challenging? That's three games against ranked foes if you count UCLA jumping into the top 25 today. Williams just splashed a three moments ago. Now it's Egypt. And instead back to Trong. Late shot clock. Trong has great handles. The senior from Houston <laughs> had Rakia Jackson fooled that time. You can't rattle Trong. She is so heady with the with the basketball. Horston, count it. Against Rutgers yesterday. The last few years. Third place game, it's still an important one. Neither team wants to go home with two losses. A critical out-of-conference battle. This is now Marta Suarez on the floor for the first time. And there's a foul in Nassau. You saw that slide in the background there. I'm going to time you going down the slide, Kevin. Well, you know, I'm very aerodynamic. That's actually that's one thing I got working for me. After the free throws, here's Gonzaga with another three. And look who's back, Kaylee Trong, who missed yesterday's game, buries the first look off the bench. To hit a three in this first quarter. It is a high-scoring affair. Strength of Tennessee, by the way. Does a good job of getting to the free throw line. Gonzaga in transition. And Gonzaga doing a good job. One and done, not allowing second-chance opportunities for Tennessee. Strong leaves it off for Stokes, and she got blocked by Key. Look, they don't get, when you have possession of the basketball, you can't relax and think the Zags are going to retreat. They're going to come right back at you. And Kaylee Trong is on the other side of the floor. She has grabbed her right leg. Haven't stopped play just yet. Oh, wow, she's going to take the three and connects. That is a gutsy play. 
Picked to win the league once again. Went to their fifth straight NCAA tournament a season ago after winning the conference tournament. Lisa Fortier and Mark Few, they had that thing figured out up in Spokane. There's Horston. Probably see that going away. Oh, yeah. And I think Jordan Horston's going to be uh, a, a top five draft pick. You know, one of the most coveted positions that teams are looking for. She can stretch the three. She's a consistent scorer. Very heady, smart player. Oh, leader. Brenna Maxwell has been fantastic in the tournament so far. She can shoot the three. She's got good length. At times, she can defend in the perimeter, in the in the paint. Jackson baseline drive. Yeah, you got a step. When it comes to screening action and defending it. Williams hit one earlier. This time it's long. And Puckett clears it. Walker cut off by Williams to the paint again. Floats it up and through. Williams aggressive and a sort of drive. Basketball postseason time. Strong. That one bounces out. Almost as if Tennessee won't be surprised by anything after playing such a difficult schedule. Horston rises for three. And Tennessee, Tennessee's going to get possession back. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Look at the push, number five. Maud Hybens. And back to back buckets. That's a five point swing. Now she sidles this way. Miss fires. Strong on the run. Ivan's running. She wants the three. No. Williams collects the loose basketball. This is where Tron can be dangerous when she gets into the paint. And here's the thing. When you have someone box you out, you can't just stand. You've got to constantly move your feet. Or you can spin around. But you cannot just concede to being boxed out. She's got to trust her work. Hollingsworth is sticking to her wherever she is. He trying to set the screen for Horston. Instead, she pulls up. That's pure. You're scouting, and I was not happy with the outcome. With a 17-point defeat yesterday at the hands of UCLA, the tournament champs. Tennessee comes away with the turnover. That was a nice behind-the-back move by Powell. 12 seconds. Shot clock winding down. Powell has to improvise. Two to shoot. Ball on the floor. That's a shot clock violation. And Gonzaga has it with 5.3. Gonzaga has not been able to find an answer for her. Strong. Hands off. This is Maxwell. Rises. No. And Tennessee takes a six-point lead. Well, I think that... Again, go back to going inside. I, I would challenge the interior defense. I believe the Zags really became complacent settling for outside jumpers. And Ejim, who started out that first quarter, really wanting the ball inside, not so much. And there, a turnover by Gonzaga. Another takeaway. This is Powell. And Kelly Harper told us after the game, just didn't feel like was there of what she's looking for, with what they have to bring. And if Kaylin Chong in the game, Kaylee Chong was able to start. She was having the right leg looked at for the majority of that first half after the sequence you referenced. Now, she didn't play yesterday against Marquette, trying to rest. It's that you heard it in the Louisville game. She's now into double figures. Transferred away from Mississippi State about 15 games into last season, so left the team commit to Tennessee in March. So this is her first year with the Lady Vols. Ejum, yes. I think for the Zags, each of them play through the paint. She gets a lot of touches there. Strong to scoop. That time just hypnotized Powell, took her right to the rim. It's a three-point game. Powell works off the Franklin screen. Banks it in. 
I love this. Forced in. No. But post her up. She's at 6 2 and she has a smaller guard on. Think about kind of that hockey pass. When it goes in, rotation's coming here. There's going to be one more pass to make. Suarez right into Stokes' chest and converts. Suarez, the name of Oviedo, Spain. The lead grows. Ejum got fouled. NBA Wednesday doubleheader. Well, the app coverage gets going with NBA countdown at seven. An offensive put back off a of free throw that will drive a coach absolutely nuts. So now it's a six point game. Into Franklin, off the glass. And Two sports junkies, but at some point you have to go, stop. <laughs> yeah, the dinner table topic, right. Let's we've, take a break. We, we've got to talk about something else. Yeah, but Lisa talks about her husband, Craig, gives her a lot of confidence. Yes. You know, support what you're thinking. They ever disagree. <laughs> <laughs> so that maybe that dinner time comes. And then you, and then just like you talk to your... Out to Walker for three, that's strong. Gonzaga on the move. Coming up on the four minute mark of the third quarter. Third place game at the Battle for Atlantis. Stokes, that's a good looking shot. The first two weeks of this season. That's an errant pass, however. Spun her around. Short into the stick. That one to Key. Brought it down. Tapped it back in. And so Tennessee has a chance to build on the lead. Horston lost it. Regathers. Right back to the rim. Aggressive again. Yeah, first couple of days, Jordan Horston may have passed back out top. Reset the offense. Not today. She got the basketball, found the lane, and took it to the hoop. 14 points now for Horston. So that's her first basket in the second half. Oh! Maxwell! Utah, 1,000 point score, plenty of scoring and playing. Staying around, just Hang staying around. close. Yeah. E jump takes it away. And she's going to go coast to coast or tie. Mari Key. Really trying to apply pressure in the paint. After falling uh, falling behind by eight. They have four new starters, but they got an experience. That's a big one that would have given Gonzaga the lead. 20 seconds. Tennessee has a chance to go to work. Powell, the shimmy, and the bucket. Still nine seconds. Strong, the vet. She calls for the screen. Goes behind the back. Three seconds. Has to let it fly to the rim. Draws the foul. Sees Williams come over and say, all right, she's able to recover. Nope, going back the other way. Right. A point guard who can distribute, but she also has a strong scores mentality. Find themselves year after year being selected, being in the NCAA tournament. You know, in the last couple of years, they've been a single digit seed as well, so that respect continues to grow. There's Williams in the paint. She's hit a double figures and just knotted things up. Lisa Fortier's program, it's a healthy one. Oh, 100%. And when you look at as the head coach, handful of years as an assistant as well. A Courtney Vandersloot graduates, or Kelly Graves moves on to Oregon, that the level of success at, uh, at Gonzaga would drop off. No. When Lisa Fortier got there, she just continued to carry on with the success. To raise the bar. Tennessee with one at the line on the other end. Kate Muma into the game. That's number three in the Navy. 
Jackson forces Williams out. Stokes on the attack, the ball fake, used it nicely to free herself up. Gonzaga back in front after Tennessee was picking up some momentum. Boy, Hyvins right in the middle. She was grabbing her face. She might have gotten hit. Tops it out, stays in the possession. I think Hyvin might have taken an elbow to the head. That's Kaylin Trong. Extending, could extend the lead by three for the Zags. Get some organization so you can try to get a good shot. Walker into the paint, off the glass. Franklin foul. Player that plays with terrific energy, high emotion. Back to a one point game. Horston to the rim. Offline, Franklin going to work. Second chance for Tennessee. One point game in our third place battle. Inside the Imperial Arena. Jasmine Franklin has been a biggest difference maker for the Lady Vols to help out Jordan Horston's early point production. Jackson to the rim. On the move, Powell finds it open. Franklin, no. Rebound down to Hollingsworth. Trong starts to slow. Trong gets freed up, good screen, and swirls it down. I believe rebounding is going to decide this game. Right now, the Lady Vols are plus five on the glass. And sense of urgency for Tennessee. Daga suffered the right leg injury in the first quarter. Trong creeps into the paint. Has to put it. Hands off to Hyman. Scott Block. Oh, rejected again, but a whistle. She's six six. Just go straight up. Yeah. There's no need to slap it. Third place game in the Bahamas. Another compelling one in the battle for Atlantis. Powell, watch that. Well, with four minutes left to go and having four fouls. I could sit down. She has that ice pack on her left temple. Ejum, the step back. Collinsworth. The reach. Your hands back. Oh, the officials are going to call that. And it results in a pair of Gonzaga free. Instead, Jackson from 18. No. Franklin underneath. She does draw the foul. Just five games in. She's averaged about four a game. That's it. Two-point lead. Ejim, mismatch. Powell trying to defend her, the smaller guard. She goes right to work. Second chance. Fouled. Fifteen and eight. Knotted up at 66. Powell. Back to Walker. Tron fell. Horston turns right into Maxwell, scores it. Hollingsworth, no. That's yeah, patience. Control the clock. Tennessee up two. Coming up on the two-minute mark. This is Horston. Jackson loves the three. Steps into the paint. Oh, beautiful move. Horston. Back this side. Hands it off for Key. Lost it. Had it slapped away. That's a good decision by Horston. Tamari Key's got to have her hands ready. And she's got to be, really have a scoring mentality in the paint. Gonzaga chance to slice into the deficit. 1.15 to go. This is strong. On the baseline, back to Egypt. Wants it. 4-3. Tennessee already at 2-3. and three. They don't want to fall to two games below 500, six games into the season. Wild layup that time by Powell. Strong dives. 
Tennessee forces the tie up. The possession arrow favors the Bulldogs with less than a minute to go. But keep an eye on Britta Maxwell in the corner. Jordan Walker has her. One point game. Williams to Egypt. No! Second chance, yes! Franklin today. I go, I go Franklin or Horston. And Horston not to make a pass, but to make a play. Rises and connects. And there you go, so you get the basket. 14th time, the lead has changed. Nine ties, brilliant game. Here's Egypt. Gonzaga down one. Egypt, the drive, leaves it off for Williams, blocked by Jackson. Uh-oh. Shot clock doesn't reset, strong, no. Look at Jackson Franklin. Franklin. Goes after and snares it. Kicked out, Tennessee basketball. 15.4 left. Not have anybody on the ball, so nothing's long. Try to deny, try to get a five-second call. Horston whistle for travel. Ball back to Gonzaga. Gonzaga with a chance to maybe win it at the horn. Down one. 14.5 left. Egypt right into Horston. Scores it. With 12.4 left. They just kept chipping away, chipping away. Just that refuse to lose mentality. Powell into the paint. Throws it up. No. Rebound to Horston, six seconds left. Picks up her dribble, flings it up. Not that time. Powell rips it away for the win. No! 